Hi guys! Today I'll be recreating beautiful braid that Elsa was wearing in Frozen. On one hand it's just a regular French braid, but on the other hand there are a couple of things that make it different and glamorous. The animator has gifted Elsa with supernatural thick hair that is like 20 times thicker than mine and has plenty of volume. So to somehow make up for this injustice, I'll turn to my hair curlers. I'll roll my hair section by section away from my face, which is going to give that extra lift to my roots and make my hair appear much thicker than what it really is. It will also give a delicate wave to my super straight hair. If your hair has a lot of natural volume, you could skip this step. But back to my curlers. These are hot rollers that are going to curl my hair in about 10 minutes. But you could get similar results with any rollers of a similar size. For example, you could apply velcro rollers onto slightly dampened hair and then either dry it naturally or with a hair dryer for another 10 minutes. Or you could quickly heat up your strand with a curling iron, form a roll and secure it with a hairpin for 10 to 20 minutes. It's only top layers that we want to volumize. The bottom ones will be braided. As you can tell, my hair is not only thin, but also way too short for a beautiful French braid. Clip and hair extensions are going to give it that extra length. I'll start from attaching the smaller two clip wefts from Glamtime extensions. For the effect of highlights, I'm using dark and platinum blonde wefts attached one on top of the other so that they give maximal volume and take as little room as possible at the back of my head. I'll secure three clip wefts right above them and I'll totally skip the widest four clip wefts which would be difficult to hide in the braid. If your hair is naturally long and thick, of course, you don't need any extensions to recreate this hairstyle. After I remove the curlers, my hair immediately appears much fuller. But to get an even more dramatic and long-lasting result, I'll tease it section by section starting from the back of my head and spray it with some hairspray. This step is actually more important than pre-curling your hair, so if you'd like to skip one step, I recommend that you stick to the teasing part. Smooth out the surface and grab your top layers. If you're using the extensions, leave some hair above them so that they're covered. Now split this hair into three equal strands and start placing the outer strands over the middle one. To create a French braid, we'll be adding extra hair from the sides. So after you place the right strand over the middle strand, grab some hair from the right and add it to the middle strand. Place the left strand in the middle and add some hair from the left to the middle strand. One thing that makes Elsa's braid different and glamorous is that it doesn't start right above her forehead, but lower down at the back of her head. So make sure to start braiding no higher than at the level of your temples. Once there is no more hair left to add, braid your hair till the ends and secure it with a small elastic. You can make your braid appear even fuller, tugging on its sides. After that you're pretty much done. It's really up to you how to style the front sections of your hair, depending on whether you have a fringe or shorter layers. I don't have a fringe to copy Elsa's hairstyle exactly, and I personally prefer to leave a couple of strands to just frame my face. Another option would be to direct them away from the face and secure with a generous amount of hairspray. Let me know which version do you prefer and how would you wear this hairstyle yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to join me on my social networks. I see you in my next video. Bye!